Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely resembles the average amount of time you'll want to be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. When the time is up, I'll be giving you an answer as well as a treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. Now this card looks pretty self-explanatory, but let's go ahead and take a look at the rhythm and identify it. So right off the bat, this rhythm is irregular, it is inconsistent, it is chaotic, there's no semblance of any sort of organization, there aren't any P waves, QRS waves, or T waves. All you're seeing here is a wide, chunky, chaotic waveform. The only waveform that looks like this is going to be ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scenario. So we're dispatched to a private residence for a 62-year-old male who collapsed suddenly during a family barbecue. You find the patient lying on the ground, unresponsive, pulseless, and with agonal breathing. Now quick point to remember, agonal breathing is not organized respirations, and agonal breathing or agonal gasping is what we would encounter with a patient who's in cardiac arrest. We attach the monitor and see the rhythm above. Now based on the information I have as well as the rhythm, my final diagnosis for static cardiology should come as no surprise. It's going to be ventricular fibrillation. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the treatment. Now just like with all my other static cardiology videos, I'll begin treatment by regurgitating the mantra, scene safe, BSI. IVO2 monitor. Now for any arrest cards during static cardiology, it's very easy to use up a bunch of time by saying each step in the treatment algorithm in sequence. The best way to avoid this sort of time suck that can occur is by lumping your treatment together in big chunks. So for this patient, I'm going to be performing CPR in cycles of 30 to 2. I'm going to be defibrillating every two minutes. And defibrillation, you can say I'm going from 200 up to a total maximum of 360 joules, or I'm starting, starting and staying at 360 joules, or I'm starting and staying at 200, whatever you'd like. They're all technically correct per ACLS guidelines. I'll be giving epinephrine one milligram of one to 10,000 every three to five minutes. After the first dose of epinephrine, I'll be giving amiodarone 300 milligrams IV push. And then after the second dose of epinephrine, I'll be giving another dose of amiodarone, which is 150 milligrams. Additionally, you could mention other ventricular antidysrhythmics like lidocaine or magnesium, but as an evaluator, I would be very happy to hear the epi and the amio as your treatment and of course defibrillation, and I would give you full points there. Beyond this, we're gonna consider putting in an advanced airway, consideration of our H's and T's, and rapid transport. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more static cardiology. 
And remember, you can make your own custom playlists using my videos to help you study with for your National Registry exams. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.